Welcome to the part 3 of lecture 1. Uh, now we will consider given a vector of inputs uh, x n cross p. This is the matrix representation of the simple multiple linear regression model. We want to predict the output y via this regression model which is in a matrix notation represented in matrix notation. So y is n cross 1. So here is the y, y1 to yn. So there are n samples, each of them are simple random sample. And these are the feature matrix. So x11, x12, xp, in this way xn1, xn2 to xnp. And epsilon is epsilon1 to epsilon n. And beta p cross 1 is beta1 to beta p. So main objective is to estimate beta and do statistical inference on beta and do prediction on y. As we discussed there are many different methods most popular method is this square methods so you minimize the residual sum of squares so in order to do that first you compute the residual sum of squares of beta which is y minus x beta transpose times y minus x beta which you can write it as a sum of y i minus x i transpose beta square. So that gives you a value like this and which is that means it indicates basically RSS beta or residual sum of squares of beta uh, is a quadratic function of parameters. Its minimum always exists but may not be the unique. So how do we fit a linear regression? So basically you uh, take the residual sum of square of beta, you uh, differentiate with respect to beta and equate to 0. So this is a null vector of order p and then you differentiate the y minus x, trans x beta transpose minus y minus x beta. This gives you the normal equation. X transpose X is a P cross P matrix. Beta is P cross 1. And X transpose Y is a P cross 1 vector. So we have P linear equations with P unknowns. Now we have to solve this system of equations. So if you have a, if you know the form of A, A is a P cross P matrix and vector b is a p cross 1 matrix we wish to vector uh, x p cross 1 so now i'm using the uh, notation from linear algebra book so which is we you want to solve this system of equation a x equal to b where x is the unknown coefficient you want to solve it for unknown coefficient standard approach ordinarily square regression is minimize a x minus beta b square which is basically this is uh, Euclidean norm and solution gives you x hat which is a inverse p so the question is what happened a is not invertible let's look into the possible solution of the system if rank of a augmented b is greater than rank of a then the solution does not exist if rank of a augmented b is equal to rank of a then at least one solution exists rank of if rank of a augmented b is equal to rank of a is equal to p so that is a is a full rank matrix then a inverse uniquely exists and the solution x hat is a inverse b with also a unique solution if rank of a augmented b is equal to rank of a and which is less than p that is a is less than full rank matrix then x is the infinitely many solution. This is considered as ill post problem, the problem which does not have a ready solution, which solution to choose and how to choose is a complicated question. These four are actually four different results from the linear algebra, particularly on the system of equations. We are going to use these results to solve our problem on linear regression. 
Now one can show that form normal equations rank of x transpose x augmented x transpose y is equal to rank of x transpose x. You can easily show this results. I am leaving this I am leaving the proof of this theorem as homework. So you have to do solve this theorem as a homework problem. But try to understand what is the implication of this result. It tells me whatever may be your data, it doesn't matter, whatever may be your data, irrespective of that, if you set up your normal equation from your database, that guarantees at least one solution. That is what it tells me. And that is one of the reason this least square method is so popular. Because at least one solution always exists in the least square method if you adopt least square methods and hence it gives me at least one solution all I have to ensure that x transpose x is a non-singular so on rank of x transpose x is b then the unique solution is b hat is x transpose x inverse x transpose y so this is the unique solution that gives me I get from the least square method so I don't have to do any optimization, I don't have to do anything, I don't have to, I can easily just plug in these values from my database and I get the solution. All I have to ensure that rank of x transpose x is p or the full rank. What about the mean absolute deviation? So, so far we are using only least square method least square method one can use the if you want to choose you can use the mean absolute deviation as well conceptually there is no problem you can do that computationally you can solve this but there is a problem if you're using a least square method that means you have a loss function something like this it is continuous everywhere, differentiable everywhere, you can differentiate at 0 and equate to 0 and solve this. But mean absolute deviation is continuous everywhere but it is not differentiable at 0, remember that. So you have to differentiate at 0 and equate to 0, you can't do that because it's not even differentiable at 0. So you do not have analytically closed form solution for mean absolute deviation method. Hence, it is not so popular method. Least square method is more popular method than the mean absolute deviation method. In the next part, we will discuss the underlying assumptions of the regression model. Please keep continue with the lecture.